I'm gonna make this big for my great grandson's graduation barbecue. I got to make. If you gonna make smoke real, you got to make a big fire. Oh, if you 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 make it like this, how you make holy meat? You ever made holy meat? This how you make holy meat. If you gonna do that, you got to have a fire like a fiery furnace. That's what you got. You put gasoline. You done lost your damn mind. Now, Joe, this how you make it. If you ain't gonna come out here and help, just go on in the house. Joe. Okay, okay, great, great. I'm gonna help you. You got a match? Yes, I'm gonna help you. Here's a match. Hey, welcome back to Sambo's Place. Thanks for checking in. If you've been wondering, can the new Weber Searwood truly deliver a charcoal grilling experience? We're gonna answer that question tonight. Now, a subscriber a while back suggested that I try some charcoal pellets. So I looked into it and I got myself a 30 pound bag of Royal Oak charcoal pellets, but I'm not gonna go charcoal pellets alone. I'm gonna do a 50-50 blend of charcoal pellets and hickory pellets from Weber. Because if you think about it, when guys smoke and when guys grill, they like to do the wood chips, they like to do the wood chunks mixed in with their charcoal. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a nice earthy blend of wood and charcoal to get a great charcoal grilling experience. And what better way to test it with a real summer classic? We're gonna do kebabs tonight. We're doing an Asian sesame chicken kebab with pineapple over rice pretty simple recipe, but we're gonna fire up this sear wood. We're gonna smoke these babies first, then we're gonna turn on manual mode, and we're gonna grill these up and sear them, and let's see if this new sear wood can really truly deliver a charcoal grilling experience. Let's get it on. We got about a 50-50 blend of some royal oak charcoal pellets with some Weber hickory pellets. This is what we're rolling with today. We got an Asian sesame garlic marinade, and we doused it with the honey garlic from Fire and Smoke Society. And I'll tell you what, the smell coming off the pit with that mixture of the charcoal and the wood is oh so earthy. And mm, I think I'm hooked on this blend. Uh, the goal here is that we're going to smoke these first at 250. And after we smoke these for a while at 250, then we're gonna go to manual mode and we're gonna sear these up. Uh, so we've been rolling on the smoke here for about 20 minutes. We're gonna pull these off. We're gonna fire this back up to manual 10. The only thing about manual mode cooking on this new Weber Searwood is you, you don't really know when you reach 10. I mean, there's really no indication unless you got a temp gun and you start temping the grates, but Char showing. We're getting closer on these. If you're looking for a pit that can do a few things really good, and I'm thinking if you could get three things really good out of a pit, you've hit a home run. So let's go down the breakdown here. We got smoking, we got roasting, we got grilling, we got griddling. This sear wood does three things really, really, really well out of all that. And the fourth one ain't too bad either. And you know what, if you're a pro baseball fan, every team thinks they got it going on about this time of year in June. But when the dog days of August roll around, what happens? It's the team that has the healthy pitching. It's the team that's pitching stays healthy that makes it to the playoffs. We need this pit to stay healthy. We need this pit to make it through the dog days of August and not just six months like my smoke fire did. But if this pit continues doing what it's doing, I'm telling you, this thing is a winner. If you're in the market for one of these, at this point, I'm saying don't hesitate, okay? These really deliver the juice. The flavor, oh my goodness. This is a home run right here. Uh, I, I, I can't remember the subscriber that suggested, I gotta go back through the comments and look, but 
I found a new blend. I'm never going back to straight wood pellets because sometimes when I bite into like turkey or fish, I used to get that, it, I don't know, it, it seemed like I was like burning two by fours, you know, from, from, from the garbage pile. I would, I would kind of get to too much of a, a wood campy flavor, but this really puts an earthy charcoal flavor in there. Um, it's a hint of it with a nice wood blend. I gotta tell you, you gotta try it. You gotta pick up a bag of this stuff. You gotta mix it in your hopper and you gotta let it fly. And when you put this sucker on manual mode, the experience is very similar to a charcoal grill. You got the flavor, you got the taste, you got the heat, you got the sear. I gotta tell you guys, I don't wanna eat crow in another six months like I did with my smoke fire. But this pit is really delivering some quality cooks here at Sambo's Place. So hey, you do what you got to do. What works for me might not work for you, but check it out. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you happen to pick up any of these pellets and blend it in there with your cooks. Thanks for checking in the Sambo's Place. Sambo out. Mm -hmm.